everyone. Uh, today we're going to install some barrel hinges. This is a D&D &D or Dungeons and Dragons uh, dice vault uh, that I'm making here. And you'll see these are the barrel hinges. So they're going to go right here, just like this. This top here is actually the dice tray, so that's going to fold over. And you can see I've, I've already milled this all out. This is from hard maple. That's from a solid piece of hard maple. And you'll see here the cutouts that I've already milled. These are for the minis. Some, uh, let's see, a little tray here for some extra lead graphite for mechanical pencil. Two rows for the dice and some slots for mechanical pencil pen. So you can see I've made this just a little bit uh, bigger because I want to make sure that these line up properly. So I'm going to do the final trimming once I get this inserted correctly. And also I'm going to have magnets in each corner. You see over, I've already marked this off. It's eight millimeters from the edge. And I want to insert the magnets also before I do the final trimming. Cause if I trim this close uh, to its final dimensions, you always have a risk of splitting the uh, end of the wood by inserting the magnets. Uh, and I'm going to friction fit them, so I, which means I'm going to rely on a certain amount of friction to insert the magnets, which means I'm going to have to hammer them in. All right, so these are 8 millimeter barrel hinges, which means I need to drill an 8 millimeter hole 4.8 millimeters from the edge. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I went ahead and I set up my uh, drill press here so that it is 4.8 millimeters from the edge of this fence here. And this is really the best way to do it. If you don't have a drill press, then you could probably set something up with a hand drill. Uh, but this really takes a lot of the guesswork out. And because I've already preset this to 4.8 millimeters, once I get uh, the piece of wood up here, it's just a matter of just now sliding it to get it into the right place. And that's that's it it makes it much uh, much easier to do so all i did was see this is a brad point so i went ahead i just lowered it made a impression there you could see it and then i just got my ruler to verify that it is indeed 4.8 millimeters so if you have calipers that would be perfect so here i could just see it is just shy of five millimeters and that's perfect okay here I've already positioned first part make sure you've lined it up correctly this is the bottom of the dice vault and you could see right here that it is lined up perfectly even though I do have a pencil mark here I do final markings with a uh, knife as well and what I do is I will lower this just like that to make sure it makes contact with my very thin knife mark. Once I know that's all set up, perfect. I'll go ahead and I'll start to drill right up until uh, the tape. Okay, I just drilled the uh, first two holes. Let's go ahead and insert these. You'll see perfect, nice and flush. Okay, now we'll dry, now we'll go ahead and drill the opposing ends. Okay, I've drilled the opposing ends here, and you'll see these line up perfectly. And that's the beauty of having a, uh, you know, just setting up your fence on your drill press. You'll notice this is really the most important piece of setting up your drill fence, is that you have this consistent gap right along the end of the case, which is really perfect. All right, so now we'll go ahead, we'll... Uh, well, first we'll drill the uh, holes for the magnets, insert those in, then we'll trim the final piece here, and I'll probably put a, um, an edge and also a radius around the uh, corners, and then this uh, D&D &D dice vault is good to go. Alright, thanks for watching.